Have you ever wondered how autoimmune disorders can affect the brain and nervous system? In the intricate labyrinth of the human body, autoimmune disorders are a mysterious and complex phenomenon. They occur when the body's immune system, designed to defend us from harmful invaders, turns against its own cells, mistaking them for foreign entities. The result is a self-destructive cascade that can affect various parts of the body. When we delve into the neurological implications of autoimmune diseases, we find conditions like multiple sclerosis and systemic lupus erythematosus at the forefront. These disorders can lead to the degradation of myelin sheath, a protective covering for our nerves. This degradation impacts nerve function, potentially causing a myriad of symptoms that can disrupt a person's daily life. To bring these concepts into sharper focus, let's unpack a case study that illustrates how these autoimmune disorders manifest and affect the human body. Imagine a patient experiencing intermittent numbness, switching between body hemispheres, what might be happening? This could be a case where autoimmune flares are causing havoc, leading to a peculiar pattern of symptoms. In autoimmune disorders like multiple sclerosis or systemic lupus, erythematosus, the body's immune system mistakenly attacks its own tissues, particularly the protective layer of myelin around nerve fibers. This process, known as demyelination, disrupts the normal flow of electrical impulses along the nerves, leading to a range of sensory and motor disturbances. In our hypothetical case, it's possible that inflammation, driven by autoimmune activity, is affecting different cerebral regions at different times. This inflammation could lead to demyelination in localized areas, causing the intermittent and alternating numbness in different body hemispheres. It's a complex interplay of immune responses, brain regions, and nerve function. But what could trigger such autoimmune responses? Our environment and genes play a significant role in triggering autoimmune responses. Imagine our bodies as a complex ecosystem where everything is interconnected. If something disrupts this balance, like an unhealthy diet, exposure to toxins or an infection, it can exacerbate or even trigger an autoimmune response. Now, let's take a closer look at our genes. Some genes, like HLA, PTPN22 and IL2RA, are like ticking time bombs. They lie dormant, but under the right circumstances, they can influence our susceptibility to autoimmune diseases and their severity. Here we describe more detail on the genes associated with such conditions. HLA genes, specific alleles like HLA-DRB1, HLA-DQB1 and HLA-DQA1 are associated with conditions like MS, SLE and rheumatoid arthritis. PTPN22, this gene is involved in the regulation of the immune system. Variants of PTPN22 are linked with several autoimmune diseases such as type 1 diabetes and rheumatoid arthritis. IL2RA and IL7R. These genes encode for interleukin receptors and are associated with autoimmune diseases, including MS and type 1 diabetes. TNFAA genes, tumor necrosis. Factor alpha is a pro inflammatory cytokine. Variants in these genes can influence susceptibility to autoimmune conditions due to their role in inflammation. CTLA 4 cytotoxic T lymphocyte associated protein 4 is involved in the down regulation of immune responses. Variants in this gene have been linked with autoimmune thyroid disease and type 1 diabetes. STAT4 signal transducer and activator of transcription. 4 gene is implicated in the pathogenesis of SLE and rheumatoid arthritis. IRF5 interferon regulatory factor 5 is associated with systemic lupus erythematosus and potentially other autoimmune disorders, FOXP3. This gene is crucial for regulatory T-cell function which is vital in maintaining immune tolerance. Mutations here can lead to autoimmunity. NOD2, nucleotide binding oligomerization domain containing protein 2 is linked with Crohn's disease and other inflammatory conditions. CD25 and CD40, genes involved in T-cell activation and B-cell maturation respectively, are important in the context of autoimmunity. TRAF1C5, this gene cluster is associated with increased risk of autoimmune disorders like rheumatoid arthritis. MBP, myelin basic protein, genes, variants in these genes might be implicated in myelin-related autoimmune diseases like MS. Interestingly, our immune system sometimes gets confused, a phenomenon known as molecular mimicry. It's like a case of mistaken identity where our immune system targets myelin, the protective covering of our nerves, thinking it's a foreign invader. 
This misdirected attack can lead to conditions like multiple sclerosis, where the myelin is progressively damaged. With this insight, let's explore a hot topic, vaccine safety. Vaccines save lives, but could they trigger autoimmune responses in some individuals? The answer is yes. Vaccines are designed to stimulate our immune system, and in rare instances, they may initiate an autoimmune response, particularly in those who are genetically predisposed. This is often linked to the adjuvants in vaccines, substances that enhance the body's immune response to the vaccine. However, it's crucial to reinforce that the overall safety of vaccines is well documented. They prevent millions of deaths worldwide every year and are one of the most effective tools in public health, which sounds ethical, but is it? When it's your family member or yourself who is affected, everything changes, but will these reactions remain the minority? With the last hasty rollout of the vaccine, probably not. Compounding the issue are both autoimmunity and allergies trending upward due to environmental, chemical and gut biome factors due to the overuse of antibiotics, processed foods and modern manufacturing processes, which in turn will increase the likelihood of an adverse vaccine reaction. But like any medical intervention, vaccines are not one size fits all and manufacturers are insulated from litigation to expedite the rollout of vaccine in an emergency, but can also pave the way for nefarious activities. There are individual variations in response, and understanding these differences is vital. As we continue to expand our understanding of autoimmune disorders and vaccines, we step closer to a future where personalized medicine is the norm. So how could side effects be averted? To prevent vaccine-related side effects, especially in the context of autoimmune responses, vaccine development and administration strategies would need to evolve significantly. Here are some forward-thinking approaches. Personalized vaccines, develop vaccines tailored to individual genetic profiles. This could involve screening for genetic markers that indicate a higher risk for adverse reactions and customizing the vaccine composition accordingly. Refined adjuvant formulations, research and develop new adjuvants that are effective at lower doses or are more biocompatible, reducing the risk of overstimulating the immune system. Nanotechnology in vaccine delivery. Utilize nanotechnology to improve vaccine delivery. This could involve nanoparticles that target the vaccine directly to specific cells or tissues, reducing systemic exposure and side effects. Advanced pre-vaccination screening. Implement comprehensive pre-vaccination screening using genetic testing, allergy tests and immune system profiling to identify individuals at higher risk of adverse reactions. AI-driven predictive modelling. Use artificial intelligence to analyse vast data sets from previous vaccinations to predict potential side effects and identify at-risk individuals. Molecular mimicry. Research. Invest in understanding molecular mimicry mechanisms to design vaccines that avoid triggering autoimmune responses. Vaccine dose. Optimization. Research into optimal dosing strategies that balance immune response with minimal side effects, possibly involving lower doses or spaced dosing schedules. Collaborative data sharing platforms. Establish global platforms for sharing clinical data on vaccine reactions, allowing for rapid identification of patterns and potential risk factors. Enhanced post-marketing surveillance. Strengthen post-marketing surveillance systems to quickly identify and address potential side effects using real-time data monitoring and reporting. Public engagement and education. Engage with the public to educate about vaccine safety and the importance of reporting side effects. This can help in gathering more comprehensive data. CRISPR and gene editing research. Explore gene editing technologies to understand how genetic modifications might impact immune responses to vaccines. Investment in basic immunology research. Fund basic research in immunology to better understand the underlying mechanisms of immune responses and how vaccines interact with the immune system. This will allow us to maximize the benefits of vaccines while minimizing potential risks, ensuring that everyone receives the best possible protection.